Welcome back, Stasa23 here, back again with some knife therapy, and uh, today I'm just going to show off two uh, kind of multi-tools that I picked up here recently. One that I've been wanting to grab for a long time, but I always missed them because they, they, they come in small batches. And the other one I picked up off of Mass Drop just because I thought it looked cool and interesting. So the first one is the Croco Tool. Um, basically a little either neck knife or pocket carry, however you want it. Right now I got it set up as a neck knife just because I used to always carry a neck knife and I wanted to see how I felt about this one. Um, I don't know how, I don't know if I'm going to leave it like this because it is, whenever it's hanging on the neck, it is crossed like that. So it wants to cock to the side a little bit. This package is very, very lightweight. Let's get a quick weight on this guy. Let's see, it's with the lanyard, 1.18 ounces. And let's see, let's get some gram actions for my, my, my other peeps. 33.4 grams, so however you want to call it, it's a lot. Um, so I like how they got the Kydex sheath uh, closing off the blade area. You got a bottle opener right there. I will be testing that out. Hopefully I can get some test footage of uh, showing the tools. Looks like you have some different various size wrenches right there. And as you can see, you have a little slope right here for a little mini pry bar and a flathead. Um, I'm guessing that that's a wire stripper. I don't know, I'll do my homework for the full on review. Um, this this Codex, she's a little bit different. As you can see, you got a retention point right here and right here. And basically, you just lift it up and away. And there's the the Croco tool by Avenji Pluckin. I, I, I probably butchered that. But as you can see, this is a chisel grind, which just means that there's only one primary bevel right here. There you go. Let's see if I can show you. Yeah, you have your primary bevel right here. It's only ground on this side. And then this side is flat, as you can see. So uh, in the field, you know, this is probably the easiest to sharpen because you only have to sharpen one bevel. Basically, you hold your angle, sharpen this, this bevel right here. And then once you raise a burr, you lay it as flat as you can and just remove that burr. Um, I will say this thing came screaming, screaming sharp. Very, very sharp. Let me see if I can grab a sheet of paper. Let's see. I know I gotta have paper around here somewhere. Oh, yep, I sure do. Got a little sliver of uh, phone book paper. Let's check this guy out. Oh, uh, am I cutting away? I don't know. It's, it's hard to, to see how I'm supposed to cut with the chisel grind. Dang it. And I'm making it look stupid. There you go. I'm, I'm just trying to do this behind the camera. Let's see if I can redeem myself here. There you go. Very, very sharp. And what it was is, is instead of having it on that slant, almost up like that being it is a chisel grind, it makes it a lot easier to cut if you know how to cut. <laughs> um, this is a very small little blade. You get your, your, your fingers in like this, you kind of grab onto that. A little pinch grip right here or you can uh what how i was using it earlier just pinching it like that kind of hooking grabbing that little hook right there and doing some little detail work great for you know packages little small you know envelopes and small little things like that i don't know how useful these tools will be but i'll definitely give them a shot um trying to see it, it looks like that hook's gonna be almost too much but we'll see um even though, you know, it, it, those might not be the most functional. I mean, the pry bars are always functional to me. And, uh, this is also in CPMS 35VN. I got a dirt cheap on Mass Drop. I don't know if it's 25 or 28. I don't know. My memory sucks. Real quick a size comparison. Here's a Bic lighter. So there you go. It's, it's, it's pretty small. Let's see. What else do I have? Um, the a closed paramilitary three. So it's about the same size as the paramilitary three in the closed position. Um, so there you go. 
Let me pull out the next tool. The next one I was really excited to pick up. Like I said, I've been kind of hunting it down for a while. Um, never could really get my hands on it. And that is the Casey Lynch All Access Pass version two. And I've ha I have several pry bars and stuff like that. You know, I got this little cheap Night Eyes one. Um, it has a little carabiner to hold it, but you know, and, and I got this guy right here, but there's, you just got to drop that in a pouch or in your pocket. And I don't like things floating in my pocket. And the thing that really got me wanting this thing is it has his deep carry pocket clip on there. And it is very deep carry. Um, I added this little lanyard and the copper bead just for a little swag. Um, it's nice size. Fits perfect like this. You know, if I, if I was using this to scrape, if I had to scrape something or do it like this, um, we'll check out the bottle opener. He does a great job. See, he's got a chamfer going around all the hard edges right there and right here. There's his little, where is it? How, how does it look? There's his little maker's mark right there. Super cool. It's got a bead blast finish. This is titanium. You got this a little jimping for traction. And, uh, I'm not sure what, what this is supposed to be. Maybe a shark. Here's the mouth. There's the eye. And I don't know. If you know, let me know. They got good retention on the pocket clip. Goes in and out of the pocket really nicely. And there is the uh, the leaf that he has on all of his stuff. Just very well made. All of Casey's stuff is, his attention to detail is just amazing. He doesn't leave anything out. You know, you don't see any major chatter marks anywhere on here. Everything's done nicely. And uh, very lightweight. Let's get a weight on this guy as well. Uh, let's see, in grams, 23 grams, and ounces, 0.84 ounces, and that's, you know, not the beads touching the thing, so let's see if I lift this up, point, well, hold on, let me, let me try to do this without, 0.84, let's just call it that, that's close enough, so there you go. Uh, what I plan on doing, if, if, if this is something that may interest y'all, I plan on testing out. I got this guy now to test out along with um, the Croco tool or however you say it. Got that to test out. I was going to test it out with the, um, the Ever Ratchet. Very cool tool as well. As you see, I anodized. You see the lines, how they're green. It looks sick. And the sides are green. Um, and then my most used tool up until I got this one is my knife guys, uh, pry tool. And the one thing that this thing was lacking that got me to want to buy that one, like I said, was a pocket clip, but I modded this one recently and y'all tell me what y'all think. I added a pocket clip, nice little titanium pocket clip. I had to finagle it on there, put a little washer underneath there. And it worked pretty darn good. Sits in the pocket nicely, and uh, doesn't really doesn't really mess with uh, ergonomics or anything. This thing, it, it it's gotten a good bit of use, on it, and the the finish on it is held up very very nicely. I mean, the finish is worn off in the front, but that's that's no big deal. And uh, the the main thing that this thing gets used for, I mean, a lot. Or not a lot. It, uh, um, take that back. It, it's gotten used at least five or six times so far with stuck pivots. Because you have this nice wide nail puller right there. And what knife was it? I think it was actually this knife right here. I, I had to actually put this under in between the uh, in the pivot barrel and that. And pop it up like that. And then pop it. And this thing worked like a charm. So if y'all want to see a video of me using all the tools and functions on these guys and try to see which one works best or which one's most versatile. Y'all let me know down in the comment section or, and then throw a few, I got a few cheap ones there. My dog wants to tell everybody, Hey, got the T pop tool or whatever this is called. Yeah. T pop tool. This thing gets used a ton too. Um, this one, not so much. So y'all let me know what y'all want to see. Let me know if there's anything you want me to test it on. I plan on um, using using the pry bar, definitely the bottle openers on them, um, scraping, you know, the different 
different things that you can use these tools for. I plan on, you know, testing it out. If y'all have anything, like I said, in, in, in specific that you want me to try out, let me know and I will try to add that to the video. All right, guys and girls, hope everybody's having an absolutely wonderful day. Make sure to click, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.